Coming in 2016, you're going to be able to buy an Oculus Rift virtual reality headset that you can use with your PC. I was able to check it out at E3 and use the headset that you'll be able to buy then, and this is what it felt like. There have been versions of the Rift that we've seen for years. The new one is a refined, lighter weight version that still has the same resolution and head tracking technology. It uses a camera with IR that mounts near your desk. And there are 3D audio system earphones that fit on each side of your head that are removable. The whole thing feels very lightweight, easy to take on and off, and it worked really well with my glasses. The games were intriguing. They showed extra games, more like the types of games you play on your console. Two of them, Kronos and Edge of Nowhere by Insomniac Games. They're giant flying alien creatures, it looks like, or a huge tentacled beast that is lo much, much larger than me running over my head. Someone's whispering, what are those things around me? But the most interesting part was trying out Oculus Touch. This is Oculus Rift's first true VR controller, and trying out a prototype of it here, it was stunning. We're standing across from each other. This is so crazy. We're like both in the same space playing tetherball. Okay, there we go. Okay. It allows you not just to use analog pads and buttons, but to actually move your fingers. So it feels like you're dipping your hands into a virtual space. You could actually wave, or you could grab something with your fingers and throw it point to people, give a thumbs up. Founder Palmer Lucky guided me through a virtual toy box where I got to fire laser guns and slingshots and move remote control cars around. It shows that VR is about to become something that feels a lot more real. The Touch will be sold separately from the Oculus Rift. The Rift will be bundled with an Xbox One wireless controller for playing standard games. But the Touch shows how Oculus Rift could reach beyond into a whole new dimension.